Welcome back. When we talk piecewise functions, the most common problem with continuity and piecewise functions is often at this point where they meet, there might be a jump, meaning the left-hand side of our piecewise doesn't exactly match up with the right-hand side of our piecewise. So that's where we need to do one-sided limit evaluation. So if I want to know if the limit as x approaches 1 exists, then I need to do the limit as x approaches 1 from the negative and the limit as x approaches 1 from the positive. Now because this is a piecewise, those are two different functions. So if I want to go limit as x approaches 1 from the negative side, that's going to be this first one, because this is when x is less than 1. So that's going to be 4 minus x. If I want limit as x approaches 1 from the positive side, that's going to be this one as x is greater than 1. So that's going to be my 4x minus x squared. Now, I am going to use direct substitution in these to see if it is continuous. So I'm going to plug 1 into the first one. So 4 minus 1 gives me 3. And plug 1 into this one. 4 times 1 minus 1 squared. 4 times 1 is 4, minus 1 squared is 1. That's also 3. So I can say the limit as x approaches 1 to the left of f of x equals the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of f of x, which equals, or which means, the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x equals 3. So essentially what this says is because my left-hand side and my right-hand side are equal, then, meaning this arrow, so if this is the same because of this, then the limit is 3. You check both sides, they're the same, so I know it's 3, it does exist. Now let's look at this one. Same thing as x goes to 1, so I have to check both sides. So 1 from the negative would be when it's less than 1, so 3x minus x cubed. 1 from the positive would be when it's greater than 1, so 2x squared minus 1. Use direct substitution, so 3 times 1 minus 1 cubed is 3 minus 1, so that's 2. 2 times 1 squared minus 1, so 2 times 1 minus 1 is 1. Now we say the limit as x approaches 1 from the left of f of x did not equal the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of f of x. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x does not exist. because those are not equal. Now let's ask this question. As x approaches negative 1 of g of x. So if I look at this one, if I want as x approaches negative 1, well that would be, let's see, negative 1 would be this one, because that is when x is less than or equal to 1, and negative 1 is less than or equal to 1. So for this one, I don't need one-sided limits. Because I don't have different equations from each side. Negative 1 just has one equation. So then I don't need to do them from both sides. I can just do limit as x goes to negative 1 of g of x. That would be my 3x minus x cubed. 
I can do some direct substitution because this is going to be continuous. So 3 times negative 1, negative 3. Negative 1 cubed is a negative 1, but I have two negatives. Equals negative 2. Okay, that was a little bit about piecewise functions. In the very last video, we'll talk about the greatest integer or the step function.